Today's loadout is brought to you by the Quasar Cannon. Sleek, explosive, and the Hulkbuster that you always dreamed of. That's right, just as my last loadout video was built around one item, the Plasma Punisher, today's loadout, dubbed the Hulk Killer, will present my best setup for eradicating Hulks and automatons centered around the newly introduced Quasar Cannon. On screen now and for the duration of this video will be the exact weapons, armor, and stratagems I like using for the fight against automatons. I'm going to cover the specifics of each item, starting with yours truly, the Quasar Cannon. It's been a couple of days and already I can likely say that most of the community understands just how much of a democracy loving lethal weapon this truly is. So much so that a user by the name of Emptiness on Reddit has compiled an expansive list of all of the Quasar Cannon's fantastic capabilities that I hope to god don't get nerfed. After a held charge up, the Quasar Cannon releases a large projectile that does high, mostly single target damage. You can kill Hulk enemies with a single shot to their center eye. This finally provides us with some much needed respite against the insane Hulk swarms that spawn on Helldive defense missions, as long as you don't get ragdolled outside of the map, which is still very likely to happen. The Quasar Cannon also one-shots dropship thrusters. At the start of a defense mission, you and your team should be able to call down your Quasars in time to kill most of the first wave of enemy dropships, giving you a good head start against the unstoppable swarm that is to come. The Quasar Cannon also two-shots cannon towers at any point on their armor, not just the vent, which is a nice way of dealing with them without burning a stratagem. Just keep in mind that its cooldown time is about 10 seconds, so take cover while it recharges. This adjacently applies to dealing with tank enemies, making them easier to kill, especially if you coordinate with a teammate. Finally, the Quasar Cannon is great for objectives such as Fabricators. If you aim the projectile towards the lower portion of a Fabricator vent, you will blow it up with one shot. Paired with the Quasar Cannon would have to be my favorite grenade in Helldivers 2, the Stun Grenade. Use this on a pack of enemies to quickly find cover from their gunfire, or stop a Hulk dead in its tracks so you can either get an Eagle 500k to land on its head, or get an easy shot off on its eye for free kill. In terms of a primary and secondary weapon, I always choose the Plasma Scorcher and the Machine Pistol. The Machine Pistol is pretty self-explanatory, but the Scorcher requires a bit of discussion. The Scorcher takes six reserve magazines, and each magazine has 15 bullets. Each is explosive and does a great job of destroying most, if not all, automaton enemies. If you stun grenade a Hulk, you can walk behind it and destroy it by shooting its vents with less than a magazine's worth in bullets. The problem is you run out of ammo quite quickly. This means you are encouraged to call down resupplies often or search for points of interest that may have ammo packs. A bonus of this gun is that it kills walker enemies extremely easily, with the explosive damage destroying the pilots in 2-3 to three shots. Because of the fact that it is a page 10 weapon, the Plaza 1 Scorcher takes a little while to unlock. As most bot planets seem to restrict you to only 3 stratagems, you have to choose wisely. Unfortunately, as of making this video, the Eagle 500kg is still one of the best options as a first pick. For your second option, you'll take the Quasar Cannon, which leaves just one stratagem slot left. At this point, your final pick will be contingent on a few factors, such as what level are you and what do you have unlocked? Also, what armor type are you running and what's your mission type? On screen, this is the three loadouts I run for three different kinds of missions with three armor types ranging from light, medium, and heavy armor. A spreadsheet that I compiled with each of the images will be linked in the video description. Now, let me explain the rationale of each option. If you have light armor, it may be difficult to survive the Devastator rockets that pierce through the fog and one-shot you in the head, in which case your third stratagem might be a personal shield. But if your current mission requires destroying multiple command bunkers or shipyards, then you may want to take an orbital laser. In this case, I prefer to run the medium champion of the people armor or any other armor that provides a 50% chance to survive when taking lethal damage. I actually saved me more times than I can count and means you don't have to take a personal shield. For defense missions, I rock those set up on the screen now, the same as I've shown all video. The armor shown was a heavy armor set sold in the superstore that provides 50% explosive resistance. This armor is perfect for automaton defense missions because it helps with all of the constant grenade, rocket, and tank shots, and of course also a stray stratagem thrown by your teammate that might blow you up. Unfortunately, this armor isn't really a viable option for most people as it is isn't often listed in the superstore, but you could always pick something similar. So why do I call this the Hulk Killer? I think I explained it pretty well at the beginning when discussing how the Quasar Cannon is able to one-shot a Hulk in the eye. Additionally, the Plaza 1 Scorcher combined with a stun grenade to stop a Hulk in place and shoot its vents adds a desired element to your Hulk killing. But more than all that, I'll mention my observations. Using this kit with my superstore heavy armor, I was able to finally find a foothold in automaton defense missions on Helldive difficulty. The moment that the developers gave us the Quasar Cannon as a tool for dealing with hulks and dropships, the tune of my defense missions drastically changed. On one run, my friends and I were even able to clear out the defense map entirely, something I'd only ever done against terminated Helldive defense missions in the past. Don't get me wrong, on Helldive difficulty, it is still incredibly difficult to eradicate all of the automatons. But now, with the proper tools and team coordination, I feel like I have a lot more agency in the outcome of destroying these bots. And I seem to lose a lot less lives. As the developers are constantly changing the game and adding 
adding new tools and war bonds, the capabilities of this loadout may become a bit outdated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and any changes you might make. I'd love to try them all out. If you made it this far into the video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe and share it and whatever the f else people say for YouTube. Notification bell, yeah, that thing. Uh, this is the outro now. Smoke them if you got them. Point me to the enemy. Just the moment I spawn, I'm getting. I am. I'm alive. There's no way I'm alive. <laughs>